Hello, on this video I'm going to talk a little bit about thread safe and multi thread programming in C sharp. For that I'm going to create a new project, console application. I'm going to create a class. And this class is very simple. It has one class variable called class variable and then it has one public function and this function sets the class variable to be equal to the parameter variable and then a simple for loop to print both class variable and the parameter variable so it's a very very simple class. If I go back to the main, I can instantiate this class. And then I can call the print variables. And I'm gonna pass number two here. So if I do that, I get choose and choose. And I can call this with a different value. And no matter how many values I pass, no matter, no matter how many times I call this variable, the class variable is going to be exactly the same as the parameter variable. So now let's create a thread, a new thread here. So now we have two problems. One is that we need to using system.threading. And the other problem is that this function does not like an integer here, it likes an object. So we need to fix this uh, function. So instead of being a int parameter, I'm going to put an object parameter. And then, right here, I'm going to convert this object to integer. And now the code is happy. And then I can start this thread and I'm going to pass number one here. So I start the thread Pass number one, and then I just call here with number twos and threes. So let's run this program. So now we have a problem here. You're passing two and two, and then you start printing one for the class variable on the for loop. So what happened here? Why you have different values? If you look at the class, we never change the values. The class variable and the parameter variable should always be the same. So this happens because now we have a program with, with two threads. And whenever we have one thread executing this for loop here, the other thread comes and changes this value. So that's the problem of having two threads executing the same piece of code at the same time. Now, to solve this problem, we can create a lock and lock this block of codes from being executed by two threads. So let's create a lock here. And lock is going to be an object. It's an empty object. And all I have to do is to lock the lock. So lock my lock. And now, this block of codes is locked. In other words, you can only execute this piece of code if you have the lock. So no two threads will execute this code at the same time. So let's run the program now. And here you have the class variable is always the same as the parameter variable. Now this is good because you're always going to have the values you expect. But this is bad because the main reason you have a multi-thread program is to speed up the processing time. But if you put a lock here, you actually slow down because no two threads can, ex can execute these codes Therefore, if one thread is executing this code, the other thread must wait. 
So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. This is easy and you can do it.